All right. Um, let's talk about what happens as uh, I increase. So let's right. let's go let's let's go to a five by five grid. So now I would have to roll one through twenty-five. Right, so I'd have to roll a five-sided dice. Um, um, yeah, or actually, a twenty-five-sided 20. dice. Yeah. Um, uh, and what do you think would happen here? Like, do you, what do you think the chances are? Do you think it's a higher chance or a lower chance of getting all the numbers being different? Uh, I think it's a much lower chance. Okay. Because you have to do one times twenty-four over twenty-five times. 3 over 25, and then all the way down to times 1 over 25 to get the last number. Okay. It's a really low chance. All right, what would you say that probability is? Can we calculate it? So it's, it would be 25 times 24 times 23 times 22, all the way down to 1, and then all of those would be 25 times 25 times 25, 25 times. So 25 factorial over 25 to the 25? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm just typing that into Mathematica. And that is uh, about 1.7 times 10 to the minus 10. So, yes, not very likely. So, uh, just rounding, if I did it, if, I, if we did this 10 to the 10th times, um, it would happen about twice. So, not very likely. Yeah. I also don't want to do it 10 to the 10th times. Yeah. But last time when we had the when <coughs> we had the grid with four squares, we actually got three numbers both times. So do you have, what do you think about getting twenty-four out of twenty-five numbers? Well, I still don't think that's very likely because it's only taking out the times one over twenty-five. You still have the times two over twenty-five, times three over twenty-five. It's not going to increase the probability. Okay. What do you maybe um, I think it's still going to be pretty low, but maybe there's like some. I guess balance point where it's still pretty high, that you'll get maybe most of the numbers, maybe like over half the numbers. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Hmm. So yeah, so do you think like we would get one number, the same number in each of the 25 squares? That's also a pretty low probability. Yeah. But maybe there's kind of maybe a balance yeah. like in the middle somewhere. Interesting. Okay, so we're going to switch over to the computer now. All right. And we're going to do a, a, a twist a little bit on this exercise, and we're going to look at. We're going to we're going to do our fill in our numbers, and then right. I'm going to call this box one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, like that. I'm going to number the boxes like that. All right. And we're going to see how many ones appear. When we do this, how many twos appear, how many threes appear, how many fours appear. So our boxes are going to be end up being filled. Maybe there were no ones, and uh, this box would have a zero. Maybe there were three twos. Uh, maybe there was one three, no fours, etc. Oh, okay. So maybe there were ten fives. All right. And we're just going to look at we're going to look at these um, distributions and uh, see what we see. Okay. Okay. okay.